Hello, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you the MiG-21 Lancer-C. To find it, you go to Aircraft, Fighter, Soviet Union. And yes, I know it's the Soviet Union. And then scroll on down to the MiG-21 Lancer-C. Luckily, there's only four points on here. And yes, I did see the um, other one for the Sukhoi-27, but there are a few of those, so I will be doing it tomorrow because I procrastinate. So, here we go. Here we got a AM fuel tank AM, and a few other missiles. Uh, two bombs, a rocket pod, which is just the hydras, but Russian. Uh, and then all these missiles, which have their ups and downs. So these first three are anti-aircraft. So they, they're, they're good at different things. This one has the longest burn time. This one has the shortest, but also has the most acceleration. But it, I think... Yeah, the lowest top speed. And then this one has a longer... And then this one has the highest um, thing. This one also is the first four, sorry. And then this one has a short burn time, but really fast acceleration if you want to do that. So, yeah, I'm just going to yeah use these. This one's anti-ground, so that's interesting. It's decent. It has 300 LBs, but yeah. So there you go. There's just a random missile selection. You go to civilian, crop, you don't have to do that. And then QE, remember to move around your mouse so that it actually updates the new position or else it won't. That little yellow thing there is where you, uh, I think, arrow keys to move your camera around, scroll in with a uh, um, scroll wheel. Once you spawn in, you hit E to turn on your engine, zero to turn on combat mode. Remember that is not required, but it is quite fun. I like the camo on the this. I didn't do any of this, it's just like a game like this. So once the combat's enabled, you'll immediately notice that there is a gun on this, so it does have an MG. And then you can turn on afterburners using semicolon G for landing, like to put up your landing gear or put them back down, and then T for air brakes, which is nice. Um, as you see, we accelerate a lot faster with the uh, landing brakes, up, I mean, air brakes up, so that actually does work. So V, remember, so all these will have to do with the plane, so you can see like a little green box if you get the radar range of someone, or if you got like an AWACS, so and I got a data code. Uh, and then you can target them with either left control, which targets the closest person to your mouth, I mean mouse, and then, I've said that in like, the past three videos, um, and then you, it will fire. Remember, they can't do too sharp of a turn, but they they need to be inside of your targeting your cone. So it's good to be like this because then it's easier to tell if they're within your cone. And then just X to fire. And I'm just gonna fire all these just like that. You can follow them with four. Then you see this one's already burnt out while the other one's going in. We that one accelerates fast. So yeah. I'm gonna fire the archer at the ground for no reason, just because I feel like it. And the rocket pods work like in the same way, just they have more drop and they um, are unguided. So, same with bombs. For bombs, you hit six, then B, and should hit where uh, that is. You can also just kind of eyeball it, but I wouldn't recommend. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed, and see you next time. Oh yeah, and this has really low fuel, so I would recommend bringing a fuel tank or two.